Hello YouTube. Today uh, I'm gonna show you how you play uh, with Ice Poofer and uh, a little bit explanation of the settings I use. But uh, if you missed the train and didn't ha don't have Ice Poofer yet, I'm gonna first show you how to do it. But uh, if you have it. I will uh, set a time in the description so you can so you can skip this part. Uh, have fun watching. So first of all, we need a alt store for this, and uh, for the alt store we need a computer. I'm gonna show you how to install it on a Windows computer. First. You're gonna need iTunes from the Apple Watts website, not the Microsoft Store. Second, you need you're gonna need iCloud from the Apple Watts site. Third step is uh, we're gonna download the Alt Store for Windows. Uh, if you download the Alt Store, you're gonna have to extract the zip file. If it's ext extracted, um, we're gonna open setup, then install all store to your computer. So now you connect the uh, iPhone to your computer, uh, and if you have to have your screen on. If it says uh, a new computer uh, you just need to say trust then uh, we open iTunes and uh, we enable iTunes Wi-Fi sync for your iPhone now uh, you're gonna search for the alt store open it uh, on the right tray you see an icon uh, you wanna click install alt store then choose your ios device then uh, you enter your apple id and password nope no worry this is completely safe they won't steal your apple id uh, within a few seconds alt store will be installed on your iphone once you install it you're gonna go to your phone uh, and you click on the alt store but it doesn't work so you gotta go to settings general profiles uh, or maybe device management it depends on the version of iPhone you have then tap on uh, the profile labeled with your Apple ID and then trust it so now we have all star uh, you go to safari and uh, type in ice poofer for pokemon go uh, then download the ipa file uh, once you have the ipa file you open the alt store and uh, go to the my apps tab press the plus icon on the top left corner and uh, you see all your ipa files you want to take the pokemon go uh, ice poofer and install it um, now we'll all store will begin installing it but it will take a long time so you gotta wait and if you see it on my apps uh, then it's installed and then you can go ahead and uh, click uh, the ice poofer app and then uh, if you open it you gotta make a new account because uh, there's bandwave going on and it's not safe to use your main account so now let's start ice poofer So now we're in the ice poofer app 
Uh, as you can see, I'm auto walking. I'm in Central Park, New York, but I'm living in Belgium, so uh, it gives a lot of possibilities. So, uh, as you can see, you you have a joyst joystick that uh, makes you move around. So that's really handy if you want to go somewhere. Um, on the right you have a bar with all the things you can do but it's also here and it's easier so uh, I take it away. Uh, here uh, we have the feed radar so uh, it gives a list uh, of all the Pokemon uh, over all the world uh, with IV Hunter I see here so uh, I teleport now now I'm in Australia it could take a bit for to load but uh, when you want to teleport you, you gotta take the cooldown in consideration so uh, I did nothing yet so I didn't have cooldown but when you catch a Pokemon turn a stop or uh, put a Pokemon uh, in a gym and you want to teleport something to somewhere uh, if it's a large distance you got a mind to cooldown it can be two hours it if it's far but if you did nothing yet you have no cooldown uh, and here on the left that's a nearby radar with the Pokemons that are near you uh, here that icon is with all the uh, settings and functionality here uh, the first one is uh, your location second one is uh, the map so here you, you see all the gyms uh, nearby yeah. if I click on it you, you can be able uh, to teleport or to walk there so now I'm walking to there. Also uh, in the map uh, you can set your home location, uh, your favorite location. Uh, you can make a auto walk file like that. You say how much stops you want, I say 50 and it will make a, a road to auto walk. Uh, here the GPX, uh, that's already for pre-made files. Here uh, Pokemons are a uh, map for nearby Pokemons. Uh, this one is to uh, show the stops. This one is for the gyms. This one is for your location, your spoofed location, not your real one. So that's the map. Now uh, you want to coordinates feed. That's uh, the list of uh, IV hundred Pokémons, possibly shiny. It's not always shiny, so you see uh, all these. It gives a lot of opportunities, so you can teleport to any of them by, by clicking here teleport you see I have no cool go it says no zero seconds uh, here the snipe teleport you go uh, if you set in a location uh, you can teleport instantly or uh, the hotspots here are all the hotspots you just uh, be able to choose one teleport here now <coughs> Here uh, your kilometer settings. So I edited it to 9, 24 and 120. Uh, 9 is uh, your hatching speed so you can hatch eggs. 24 you will not be able to hatch eggs but you still see Pokemons. 
and uh, 120 is the max speed you can uh, use in the map so you, you can go uh, very fast if you see something uh, not too far away so I set it to 9 now okay look you can do 24 or 120 here are um, the settings first your, your speed and your language you can import export uh, your f favorites this is for uh, the paid version I have the paid version it's activated here uh, is the shortcut thing but I don't use it uh, this is uh, scan IV to say uh, if you see a Pokemon, how much IV it is, auto rename, enhanced throw. Uh, this is uh, if you want to make nice, great, or excellent. I uh, use it uh, if I have a research that says make uh, excellent, great, or nice throws, but otherwise, I don't use it because uh, if you use it too much you can get banned so this is the fast catch trick um, it gonna go faster to catch Pokemon I, I will show you See the IV is here. Now I try to catch him. Boom! It's catched. So easy this. Now back to the settings. You see catch re result preview. Uh, it says if it's gonna run away or if it if you're gonna catch it. Uh, this is a high joystick. No, we're gonna uh, keep the joystick. Uh, this is for if you hold the joystick you for three seconds you, you can uh, let it auto walk go back to the settings and you can hide everything here uh, this is the dark mode uh, incubator uh, reminder, the nearby radar, record the uh, last action. Uh, you have to have this checked on because uh, then you will know uh, if you have a cooling cooldown or not. Spoofing uh, location. So, so this is to spoof. If you uncheck this, you will go to your. Uh, current location again so you don't spoof anymore and then a uh, speed of map loading yeah the title says it and share map data with ice spoofer now the uh, the completed is a uh, for your cooldown a cooldown timer it's very handy you can set uh, your cooldown and just go ahead do stuff and when it ends you can uh, teleport now the IV list uh, the IV of your Pokemon you catched very handy and then this uh, is the auto walk but uh, I don't, don't have spoofing on so I have to enable it Now I'm multi walking, so uh, I will go to nearby stops and gyms. So that's very handy. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Or if you don't like uh, the video, dislike. Okay, have fun. Bye.